can we now talk about Bloomberg's 400 some odd million dollar day? Yeah, well, it's, I mean, it's even bigger than that. Like, I think that number uh, is uh, ad money. It's not even yeah, like just that. total <laughs> money. That's just like what the advertisement. Here we go. Even better. Well, so this was the number this I think you were citing. This is crazy. But the, the, it gets even crazier when you oh. think about it. So, one second. I'm going to put it on the screen so everyone can see it. So, I mean, there we go. look at that, Cody. I think Hold you on. could Fourth add up all the. Fourth quarter 2019. Fourth quarter 2019. I believe Tom Steyer dropped another $100 million in ads after that before his run. How how do you have that much money? Michael Bloomberg invented the Bloomberg machine. <laughs> no, I know he invented the Bloomberg machine. Which I know that it's like if you want to talk about a machine, you know that the PC money, movement and Microsoft. I, I, I think a, a machine that prints money is a is something that everyone in the stock market has to own, and they have to pay royalties on every month. I think that's a machine that prints money. I mean, really, but still, three hundred and forty million dollars in the fourth quarter, yeah. and he is going to keep paying that money until November, as contractually obligated. To everybody that he poached from the other campaigns. I mean, I I literally, I think we could find countries that have a smaller GDP, entire countries that have a smaller GDP than his freaking campaign in 2020. How about this? This is a, you know? a tweet I saw, and this is something I want to okay. highlight. Because again, the money Bloomberg has spent, I don't even know if we can count it all yet, because you can look at the money he spent on ad buys, but dude, Bloomberg is having town halls that are fully catered with open bars. Those ain't cheap Jeez. either, right? But someone tweeted this, uh, yeah, Mark Murray, but this is how you later. He said, two days later, this needs to be underscored. Tom Steyer spent some $160 million on TV and radio ads, including $60 million in Iowa, $19 million in New Hampshire, $50 million in Nevada, and $21 million in South Carolina. He didn't win a single delegate. As a matter of fact, Sunday morning when I woke up, I was still seeing Steyer ads running in California. He was expecting to be in the race still at this point, I believe. Jeez. It's one of the weird things about having that much money. You don't go to your bankrupt and drop out. Like You actually do drop out with like ads running and events scheduled. I was like, ah, I had money still. I just had to drop out. Jeez. I wasn't winning, but... Think about that. Combine that with the 500 million some odd probably Bloomberg's close to being in for today, Monday before Super Tuesday, they've spent half a billion dollars and they've received received zero delegates. Now, Bloomberg, if I mean he's got to get something to Super Tuesday, he spent so much money, right? But think uh. about it. As we stand today, both these billionaires have spent about a half billion dollars plus and have zero delegates to show for it. Tyre, Steyer actually dropped out of the race. I don't really necessarily want to say in shame because I kind of like him, but in shame. I mean, you spend $150 million of your own money to get zero delegates and drop out earlier than you said you were going to. That's kind of shame. Like, and he's not good. Yeah, I mean, dude. Okay, in 2017, the top lowest GDP countries, all right, one was South Sudan, which was worth $275.18 million GDP. I mean, Burundi, Eritrea, Malawi, Niger, Central African Republic, and Madagascar, and Mozambique, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo – it's not it's not until you get to the Democratic Republic of the Congo that you get 500.55 I'm sending you this link in Discord. No, this is crazy. I already have it open. It, okay. it, it, it is crazy. It's not yeah. until you get into the Democratic Republic of the Congo that you get 500 million dollars. Bloomberg's campaign was worth more than the GDP of Well, hold on, wait. <laughs> entire I... countries. It's in U.S. dollars, yeah. But I think that's GDP per capita, so that wouldn't be in millions. It'd be in dollars. Okay. So this would be saying your average person makes $484 a year. Oh, dang it. Okay, we just self-checked ourselves in real time. We'll have to dig deeper so we can get the. Uh, we'll have to dig deeper so we can get the info. And I guess that's our punishment for doing stuff on the fly. But it it, it doesn't it, it it doesn't go away. This just absurdity of how much money was spent and the wildness of the failure. I mean, not a single delegate is brutal. I mean, you can't even call that a vanity project because no vanity was achieved. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nobody walked out saying they liked you more. It was like the emperor has no clothes. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't even know how to, uh, how to fathom it, but 
there's there's some interesting thoughts as to why um, a lot of these people are staying in. Are you going to bring up that one quote that you like from that one guy uh, on Twitter where uh, supposedly the establishment is saying Eamon Klobuchar should stay in until uh, Warren is defeated? I mean, that was, just some, a- that, that was just some some rumors, but I think, I don't know, let's see if I haven't pulled up. But yeah, like you look at the rumors that are circulating around right now because of what's going on with this election, and people are like, why are we, like, the speculation has gotten to, I might not have pulled up, there we go. This is the point the speculation has gotten to on uh, where we're at on what's going on with the election. So yeah. the establishment's urging Steyer to drop out because he's taking Biden votes. They want Amy to stay in just long enough to prevent Bernie win in one state. I think it's uh, one of the Midwestern states she's by. Uh, they want Warren to stay until the convention because 40% of her supporters have Bernie as a second choice. But, but, but the larger point is you're noticing this very much discussion online of yeah why are these people still in the race i believe i've been hearing rumors amy klobuchar i think is getting ready to drop out maybe sooner than later yeah i'll i'll, I'll, I'll check more on that but like yeah like we're at the point now where why are all you people in the right it doesn't make any sense for any yeah. of you to be running anymore oh here we go actually as we're recording so speaking of one question no longer needs to be asked when wow. <laughs> this is live check it out though Amy went on to endorse Joe Biden. Very interesting. So, yeah, Amy jo- Amy Klobuchar, we can go more into it, but Amy Klobuchar has ended her presidential campaign. So, dropped out of the race, colloquially, I guess you could say. However, it is f- that that was the question that had no answer. Is that why is Amy Klobuchar still in yeah. the race? Like, it made no sense. Well, There's no way she had the money. And for she Super had Tuesday. a breath of She didn't have the support. Like, what was the point? Yeah, she had a breath of life that was blown into her completely by the media. The, the the last four weeks of Amy Klobuchar, yeah, the New York Times endorsement, right? yeah, has been a complete and total, yeah, the co endorsement. Uh, Amy Klobuchar's mini rise of the past month has been an absolute desperate attempt of the corporate media to have a regular corporate establishment Democrat in the race still that kind of fits enough of the progressive talking points that hopefully if we if you know we hype her up then maybe we'll be able to. Uh, you know, maybe we'll be able to get a little bit more uh, action in her candidacy. Also, I did fact check myself. South Sudan's GDP, all right, is waivers between three and four billion dollars per year. But still think about that. If he hits a half billion dollars in his candidacy, he's literally spent one sixth the GDP of an entire country in one year. And he owns personally the wealth of the bottom five poorest countries in the world. That's absurd. I mean, that, that's really just rich. absurd. But the bigger thing is, what does he get for it, right? Yeah. Is he going to be like Tom Steyer and just shamefully walk away with this with almost nothing to show for it? Is he? Or or is he going to be a surprise? Is he going to walk away with at least something to show? Maybe not a victory, but something. It is very interesting to me to see that Amy Klobuchar, and, and again, just to make sure I'll go through this a little bit more, this is breaking news. Breaking, but this did just come out, so uh, it seems the only source right now is actually a Joe Biden aide who's just saying that Amy's telling us she's going to endorse us when she drops. So, hasn't happened yet. Who knows? However, I that appears to be... that. Of everything, all the nonsense, all the ridiculous baloney, me and you've been talking about the last little while, Amy Klobuchar dropping out to endorse Joe Biden, that makes Is sense. Is the one thing that makes yeah, sense? That makes yeah. sense. I get that. <laughs> that, that. That sounds like what I would expect to happen. Some of this other stuff, like people who are supporters going to support Bernie Sanders, don't get that. That makes no sense. Amy Klobuchar staying in the race didn't make any sense. Her dropping and endorsing Biden, that made sense. So here's my last question before we move on to our preview of Super Tuesday. If he succeeds... We know exactly what happens. Mike Bloomberg establishes a precedent of billionaires being able to run and buy enough airtime that they brainwash enough people with their propaganda into being serious competitors for the presidency. And it totally changes U.S. politics for a very, very long time without any kind of legislative interference. Okay. Um, Or I should say barring any kind of legislative interference in campaign finance law. OK, uh, because obviously the DNC is willing to lay down and just change rules to accommodate the billionaire, willing to change, you know, fundraising requirements and willing to change donation requirements and whatever it takes to make the billionaires happy. Just look at the graphs. My favorite, my yeah. favorite graphs. It charts at presidential TV campaign ad. But just yeah, guess which one's Bloomberg, right? Like yeah. it's just looking at it visually like, holy cow, look at that. 
Yeah, exactly. And you know what the, oh my God, you know what I just thought about? What? Moving forward, the, the green line's going to go away. It's literally just going to be a gigantic yeah. Bloomberg line because there's going to be no more Steyer. Wow. Yeah, exactly. So we know that if we know that if Bloomberg succeeds on Super Tuesday, and by succeeds, I mean, you know, just has enough victory that he keeps on contending as a formidable competitor right. in this race, that if he succeeds, it establishes this wild precedent of money he will have officially gentrified politics if he succeeds and who knows might go on to win might go on to have a great showing we don't know but but if he succeeds on super tuesday it proves that his strategy quote worked but also think about this you could say it worked but keep this in mind as well it also means and again bloomberg isn't tom steyer he was he won multiple mayor elections. Like he's not like some yeah. of New York City, by the way. Not not but but Portsmouth, where is that people are just yeah, from? Yeah, exactly. But um, like Ann Arbor. But uh, um, anyway, my mom, Ann Arbor's Michigan. Yeah, I know. I yeah, so anyway, <laughs> that's the point. Messing with them. Anyway, though, um, what I'm trying to say is that Bloomberg isn't like nobody, no one's ever heard of. Yeah. And he's spending more money than Barack Obama spent through his entire 2012 cycle. In like five months, like it, it, somebody who isn't some unknown rando is being forced to burn, like you said, like yeah. burn through like half of a country's GDP just to hopefully be competing on Super Tuesday. Like, I think that also shows what the money really buys. Like, it, he isn't a nobody. He's a legit politician and he spent all the money in the world. He's spending so much money. He's buying out his competition even. Yeah. And he still isn't really getting. So anywhere. here's my question for you is we know what's going to happen if. Michael Bloomberg wins. What's going to happen if he loses, though? I mean, just average shame <laughs> for for a little while, but everybody will conveniently forget because he's got enough money that they hope that, you know, they're a part of his next passion project. Like, wh what do you think happens if he loses? Um, Honestly, man, I don't know. What happens when a guy with $60 billion gets embarrassed in front of everyone? I don't know. What does he do? Uh, does he, he just, does he buy the biggest yacht in the world? I don't yeah. know. To make himself <laughs> he feel just, better, he he builds a he he builds an even taller building than Trump's and just puts Bloomberg on it. I don't know what yeah. he does, but he gets into the roller coaster business and buys yeah. up all of. Six all flags. I know is he literally can cry into money in his Lamborghini. He's that rich. So if that's if that's what he wants to do, <laughs> then if he wants to buy the biggest yacht in the world and just sail around the world for twenty years and never talk to anyone else again, <laughs> he could, if he wants to go Howard Hughes, just buy all of Vegas and live on top of a mansion, buy out Steve Wynn, make it his mansion, like. He's got the money. But honestly, in politics, spending a half billion dollars to get embarrassed on Super Tuesday, if that's what happens, what do you do? How do you come back from that? Like, what's what's the, well, I only spent more money than everyone else times five and got nowhere. Like, geez, yeah. man. Like, what, what's, uh, it's like Steyer. I think he's done in politics. At like, that point, it's almost like bling. Like, just... You know, in the music videos where they show up into club and they're just throwing money out to throw well, money out. You know, funny? it's just like just, at that point, yeah. you just have to leverage it as this big show off project. You know, I, I don't know. Yeah. Well, it's funny. Well, the other day I was uh, I was in Newport Beach and they have those nice houses in Newport by the thing. And it's funny. Yeah. We're going by in the what thing? You mean the, by the pier? In the harbor, sorry. Okay. You know the thing. They anyway, got those nice houses it's by funny, the thing. You know, the, the, those houses are million dollar lots that you oh, build million dude, dollar homes. I know. Well, it's funny. One of the houses we go by, it has well, the lot next door, it appears this guy is so rich, he bought that lot, tore it down, and made it a fountain. And it's just like we're talking like with Bloomberg. When you're that rich and you want to show off how wealthy you are, you spend half a billion dollars running for president. You spend five million dollars installing a fountain next to your house because you can. You know what I mean? Like it's. Uh, that it might be like just to your point that could be part of it like he's that rich like well you know what i can afford it <laughs> i can afford a billion dollar write off on a campaign and just keep on ticking but i guess the question is is can his reputation afford it right yeah exactly so anyway let us know what you guys think if we miss something follow us on twitter at psp radio one instagram at problem solver politics don't forget to join the channel it's an inexpensive way to make sure that we can keep these videos coming without any corporate donors and we got a podcast on spotify google Podcasts, apple podcast basically anywhere where podcasts are sold or downloaded you can check us out on your favorite podcast platform it's simply under problem solver politics and you guys got to make sure that if you want to grab a Problem Solver Politics hat that you check us out at problemsolverpolitics.com. There's a link to PayPal right there if you want to walk away with some of your merch. And we're also, are we going to be live streaming tonight, Cody? Yes, we're live streaming tonight because this is Super Tuesday. Well, technically, I mean, it's 
Well, yeah, yeah, it's, it's Monday, it's not Super Tuesday, but we're going to be live streaming tonight because we usually live stream on Mondays talking about Super Tuesday. So I have to make sure that I get everything grammatically correct. Anyway, this is Problem Solver Politics. We'll see you guys in the next video.